Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time and this week's stitch is number 61 and it's called the Wavy Shell. Now before I begin the tutorial, I want to do my special shout outs to my new patrons of my channel. So I'm going to lay this down and just do a real quick shout out. I want to say a very special thank you to Carol Balser, Carrie Day, Teresa Benelli, Janet Haydenrich, Shauna. They didn't give me your last name, so all I have is Shauna. So a very special shout out and thank you to my new patrons of my channel. Now, if you would like to learn more about becoming a patron of my channel, you can click the link at the bottom of this video and learn more information. So now let's get back to the wavy shell stitch. This is my first sample here and you can see the beautiful shells and then you do a single crochet wavy row above the shell stitch row. You alternate the shells, the one row, you see your shells and then you when you do the next shell row then you're alternating in between the shells. I have three samples and all three samples I made in a different way. There is so many ways that you can customize this pattern for what you want and I hope the samples will show you just a few of the ways you can do that. So this sample here I used four medium weight yarn and I just grabbed some really pretty bright colors and this is changing colors every two rows. So you have your shell stitch row and then you have your single crochet row. So every two rows gives you this effect. So this is the right side of the work and when you turn it over then this is the wrong side. Sample two I just think looks amazing in a solid color. It really brings out the detail of this pattern where you can see those shells mixed in with those single crochet wavy rows. So that is made using one color throughout. So you can see what a difference in those two samples. Now my third sample is quite the little busy pattern. This is where I used a multicolor and then I used white. So this is where I changed colors every row and I started with the multi and then every single crochet row I worked in white and every shell stitch row I worked in the multicolor. So those were the three samples I had to show you today and again when you look at these samples it's three completely different looks with the same stitch pattern and this is where when you're doing these stitch patterns you can get extremely creative with your own color combinations that you would like to do and I hope this video helps show you just how extreme you can make a pattern look by just changing colors. This stitch pattern here is a multiple of 14 plus 3. So if you wanted to make a larger afghan, you would chain 14, 14 again. Just keep chaining in multiples of 14. When you get it to the width you want, then you would add 3. Now for today, for our stitch swatch, we're going to make a sample that's this large and the reason we're doing that is because you need to learn how to start the pattern then we're going to work one repeat we're going to repeat it one more time and then we're going to finish off the row on that pattern so you have to have a little bit bigger swatch for this pattern because the multiple is so long with 14. Now for today's sample, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver in the color number 528 medium purple and I'm using a size I9 crochet hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, make sure that you look on your yarn label if you're using a different yarn and it should tell you what the recommended hook size should be. So grab your yarn, Grab your hook, I'll meet you back here, and we'll get this stitch pattern started. I have my yarn attached to my hook and I just tie a double knot. Now you can use a slip knot or whichever way you prefer. This is just the way I was taught. We're going to start and chain 45 for our sample swatch. You're going to yarn over the hook, 
pull it through the loop on your hook and this creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's two. Yarn over, pull through, that's three. Continue until you have a chain with 45 chains. I'll be back and we'll get row one started. I'm back, I have my chain 45 made and now we're going to begin row one. For row one, we're going to start and skip the first two chain. We're going to work three double crochet into that third chain from hook. Yarn over the hook, skip the first two chain, insert into that third chain from hook, and we're going to work three double crochet. Yarn over, pull through that chain. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You just made your first double crochet. The skip chain two that we skipped in the beginning will count as a double crochet stitch. We need to make two more double crochet into this same stitch. Yarn over, insert into that stitch, work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to insert back into that same chain and work a double crochet. So when you look at your work, you have your skip two chain here, which counts as one double crochet, and then we work three double crochet all into that same third chain. So that's a total of four double crochet stitches. Now we're going to start the repeat. So if you're working on maybe an afghan, something that's a lot wider than 45 chains, then you're going to start here where I say this is the start of the repeat for row one. You're going to work it to the end of the repeat and then you're going to continue that repeat across to the last 14 chain. And then you will stop and then I'll show you how to finish the row. So let's begin the repeat. We're going to start and we're going to skip the next three chain. One, two, three. Insert your hook into the next chain. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next seven chains. Work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into the next chain work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's three. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's four. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's five. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's six. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, and that's seven. Now we're going to skip three chain, one, two, three. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, and we're going to work seven double crochet. Yarn over, pull through that chain, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We just worked our first double crochet. We need to work six more into this chain. Yarn over, insert into that chain, work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same chain, work a double crochet. We have three, we needed a total of seven double crochet into this chain. Yarn over, insert into that chain, work a double crochet, that's four. Yarn over, insert into that same chain, work a double crochet, that's five. Yarn over, insert into that chain, work a double crochet, that's six. Yarn over, insert into that same chain, work a double crochet, and that's seven. When you look at your work, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven double crochet all in that same space. And that is the end of the repeat. 
So we're going to do that again. So again, this is the start of the repeat. You're going to skip the next three chain, one, two, three, insert into that next chain, and we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next seven chains. Work a single crochet, that's one. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's three. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's four. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's five. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's six. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet and that's seven. You're going to skip the next three chain, one, two, three, yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, and we're going to work seven double crochet. There's one, and we're working them all into the same chain. Yarn over, insert into that same chain, work your second double crochet, Yarn over, insert into the same chain, work your third double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same chain, work your fourth double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the same chain, work your fifth double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the same chain, work number six. Yarn over, insert into the same chain, and work your seventh double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So now we should be over to our last 14 chains of row one, and now we're going to finish the row. We're going to skip the next three chain, one, two, three, insert into the next chain, and we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next seven chain. Work a single crochet, that's one. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's three. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's four. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's five. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, that's six. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, and that's seven. So now you should have a total of four chains remaining. So now to finish, we're going to skip the next three chain and we're going to work four double crochet into this last chain. Yarn over the hook, skip the next three chain, insert into the last chain across your work, and work four double crochet. There's one. Yarn over, insert into that same last stitch, work your second double crochet, Yarn over, insert into that same last chain, work your third double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same chain, and work your fourth double crochet. So we're at the end of row one, and when you look at your work, you can see that you started with a half shell, you worked your seven single crochet, you worked a full shell, seven single crochet, full shell, seven single crochet, and you end the row with a half shell. So this is what your sample should look like so far. Now we're ready to start row two. So we're going to start with the chain one, and you're going to turn your work. Now when you turn your work, you're going to be working on the wrong side, and it may be a little harder for new crocheters to tell where your stitches are. 
So we're going to start, and if you don't know where your stitches are by looking at it this way, just turn your work slightly, and you can see the top of each stitch across the top of your work. We're going to skip that beginning chain one. We're going to insert into that first stitch right at the base of that chain one and work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch. If you cannot see it, turn your work towards you. You'll see those loops on top. Insert under the top two loops of that stitch. Work a single crochet. You can also pull your work and you can see your stitches this way as well. Insert into the next stitch. Work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch work a single crochet. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across the row and I will meet you at the end of row two. I'm over at the end of row two and I wanted to remind everyone when you started row one and you skipped those two chains that counted as the first double crochet stitch. I worked my single crochet across the row. I ended with a single crochet into this last double crochet stitch. And now to end the row, you need to work a single crochet into the top of this ending turning chain two. So look at your single crochet, the last one you made in that last double crochet, and your top of your turning chain will be right there. So when you pull your work apart, you'll see that chain two. One, two. Go into that top chain and work a single crochet. Now if you forget to go into that chain two space, then your pattern's not going to work out and your shells will become crooked and they will not be in the center of the pattern when you're working it. So this is very important that you put that single crochet into the top of that ending turning chain. Now we're going to begin row three. We're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. We're going to skip that beginning chain one, insert into that first stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. We worked one single crochet in each of the first four stitches. Now we're going to start our repeat. So if you need help, you'll click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat for row three and work until I say this is the end of the repeat and continue working the repeat across your row until you get to the last 11 stitches. Stop there and then I'll be back and we'll finish the row. So let's begin our repeat. We're going to skip the next three stitches yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work seven double crochet. There's one. You're working all seven double crochet into that same stitch. Two. Three. four, five, six, and seven. Take a moment and just count those stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you're even one stitch off, it's going to mess up the pattern. So make sure that you have the right amount of stitches. So now we're going to skip the next three stitches. And when you work these seven double crochet, make sure that you're pulling this back and counting this stitch here 
when you're skipping those stitches. If that is covered up, then you might miss that stitch. You're going to start in the wrong place. So always make sure when you're skipping those stitches, pull back and make sure you're counting the correct amount of stitches. So we're going to skip those next three stitches, insert into the next stitch, and we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Work a single crochet. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. six and seven and that is the end of the repeat now I do have to apologize for the road outside my house I try to remind everyone I live by a major highway and sometimes that background noise I just I, there's nothing I can do so I'm so sorry if you get a lot of that background traffic noise so let's begin again with the repeat. So again, this is the start of the repeat. We're going to skip the next three stitches, yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, which is the fourth stitch, and you're going to work seven double crochet all into that same stitch. There's one, Two, three, four, five, six. And seven and again just take a, a few seconds and count your stitches one two three four five six and seven now we're going to skip the next three stitches again make sure you're pulling those stitches back and counting that first stitch so we're skipping one two three insert into the next stitch and we're working one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches work a single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that is the end of the repeat. So if you're working on an afghan and you have a longer row, then continue that repeat until you're over to the last 11 stitches. So now we're going to finish the row. We're going to yarn over, skip the next three stitches, insert into the next stitch, and work seven double crochet all into that same stitch. We're going to work all seven double crochet into that same stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Again, take a moment, count those stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to skip the next three stitches. Pull those stitches back. You're going to skip one, two, three. Insert your hook into that next stitch and you should have four stitches 
So if you count the stitch your hook is in, there's one, two, three, four, we're going to work one single crochet in each of those last four stitches. Work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's three. Insert into that last stitch and work a single crochet and that's four. So when you look at your work, you can see that your full shell is now in the center of the two shells, two rows below and just right in the center of those shells. And that's how your pattern should look. So now we're going to start row four. For row four, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip that beginning chain one, insert into the first stitch, work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and you're going under both loops of that stitch, work a single crochet. Now again, when you're doing the single crochet rows, you're on the wrong side of your work. And again, if you're new to crocheting, that is where some of the newbies get a little confused because the stitches look different. If you cannot see your stitches, you can pull your work and they'll open up. You can see here, 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 here. Or you can turn your work and you can see the top of your stitches here. I hope that's showing up right there, each stitch. Now we're going to continue and we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across the row. Insert under the top two loops of the next stitch, work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch, going under both loops of that stitch, and work a single crochet. So continue working one single crochet in each stitch across, and I will meet you at the end of row four. I'm over at the end of row four. I have one stitch remaining and I wanted to show you the difference when you're ending this row. You're going to insert into that last stitch under the top two loops of that stitch, work your single crochet. Now because we only worked a chain one in the previous row, we're going to skip that turning chain. So you do not work in any turning chains on this row. So now we're going to go ahead and start row five, which is the last row of the repeat. We're going to start with a chain three. One, two, and three. You're going to turn your work. The beginning chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to work three double crochet into this beginning stitch. Yarn over the hook, follow that chain three right down to the base into that first stitch and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch, work a second double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch and work your third double crochet. So you have your beginning chain three as your first double crochet, and then you should have three double crochet for a total of four stitches. Now we're going to start our repeat. And again, if you need help, you're going to click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat for row five. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat and then continue working the repeats across your row until you get to the last 14 stitches. So let's begin. You're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three. Insert into the next stitch and we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Work a single crochet. That's one. two, three, four, 
five, six, and seven. You're going to skip the next three stitches, yarn over the hook, insert into that fourth stitch, and we're going to work seven double crochet. We're working all seven double crochet into the same stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Take a moment, count those stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that is the end of the repeat. So we're going to do it one more time. You're going to skip the next three stitches. Make sure you're pulling that back and counting the first stitch. One, two, three. Insert into the fourth stitch. And then we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Work a single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to skip the next three stitches, yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, which is the fourth stitch, and we're going to work seven double crochet all into that same stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Count your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is the end of the repeat. So again, if you're working on a wider project and your row is longer, just keep repeating your repeat across to the last 14 stitches. So now we're over to the last 14 stitches and we're going to end the row. We're going to skip the next three stitches, insert into the next stitch, and we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Work a single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to skip the next three stitches and we're going to work four double crochet into that last stitch. Yarn over the hook, skip the next three stitches, insert under the top two loops of that last stitch and work four double crochet. There's one, two, three, and four. Now I'm not going to fasten off because I have one more thing I want to show you, so let me zoom out. This is what your work should look like. You can see that pattern starting to form. So with this pattern, you're going to 
click back on the video and you will repeat rows two through five for the pattern until you get it to the length you want. Now, a lot of times when I do these stitch patterns or you look at these stitch patterns in the instruction book, they never tell you how to put a straight edge on your work. So here is my rainbow sample where I did not put a straight edge on it. Now, when you're dealing with patterns that have a straight edge on the bottom and have, you know, like a scalloped or some type of point on the ends, you can choose to turn your work upside down and repeat this row to the foundation row to get that design and that scallop going in the same direction and forming each end with that stitch pattern. Or you can do what I did and you can put a straight edge on your work. So I went ahead and put a straight edge. So now I'm going to show you what I call a finishing row. If you like having a straight edge on the bottom and on the top, then you would work this stitch pattern row two to five, repeat two to five till you get it to the length you want. And then you put on your finishing row. So let me show you how to do that finishing row and then you're prepared to finish this off in a more professional way. So let's begin. Now I did forget to mention this finishing row that I made for this pattern must be made with the last row being a row five. That is how I figured this finishing row. If you end with the single crochet row, then this finishing row will not work. You must end on row five where you have those shell stitches sticking up. That's the only way this finishing border will work. So you must end with row five. Okay, so let's begin the finishing row. We're going to start with the chain one. You're going to turn your work we're going to skip that beginning chain one and we're going to work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. Insert into the top of that first stitch, work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet and that's three. We're going to double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. That's two. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. Now we're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch, yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. You're going through all three loops on the hook. Now we're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch, insert into that next stitch, and work a single crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a half double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. And that's two. So now we're getting ready to start the repeat. So if you need help with the finishing row, then you would click back on the video. You would start here where I say this is the start of the finishing row. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and you'll continue the repeat across to the last three double crochet and ending turning chain. So let's begin the repeat. You're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch, 
yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, work a half double crochet. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch, insert into that next stitch, work a single crochet. We're going to slip stitch in each of the next three stitches. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. That's two. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. That's three. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch and work a half double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a half double crochet. We're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. We're going to half double crochet into this next stitch, yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, work a half double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet, and that's two. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see how it's starting to form that straight edge across your work. So we're going to do the repeat one more time. So let's begin. We're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. And this is the start of the repeat. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a half double crochet. Insert into the next stitch, and work a single crochet. Now we're going to work a slip stitch in each of the next three stitches. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. That's one slip stitch. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. That's two slip stitches. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. That's three slip stitches. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch, Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a half double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, work a double crochet, and that's two. We're going to work a half double crochet into this next stitch, yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, work a half double crochet. We're going to single crochet into this next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch, yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, work a half double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. That's one. 
yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, work a double crochet, and that's two. And that is the end of the repeat. So if you're again working on a longer project, you would just keep clicking back on the video, repeat from the start of the repeat to the end of the repeat, and you're going to repeat that across until you get to the last four stitches, which are three double crochet and your ending turning chain. So now we're going to finish the row. We're going to double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two double crochet stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch, and work a single crochet. So now when you're at the end of the row, you still have your ending turning chain three. So we're going to work a single crochet right into the top of that ending turning chain three. Count up one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that chain and work a single crochet. I'm going to fasten off my work. I usually chain two, pull up on my hook, pull the yarn out. I grab my yarn, take your fingers, pinch that, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So let's take a look at what you did today. So this is the wrong side of the work. And when you turn it over, you can really see the stitch pattern. So again, you're working rows two through five for the repeat. When you get it to the length you want, then you will work that finishing row to put a straight edge on that pattern. So I hope you enjoyed working this pattern with me today. It shows you just how creative you can really be with some of these stitch patterns. So I would love to see what you have done with the colorations in this stitch pattern. If you make the stitch pattern, go on our Facebook group, post those pictures so I can see that you're enjoying the Stitch of the Week patterns. Now this again is a free pattern. The link is in the description box below the video and it is also available on our website at creativegrandma.net. Just click that Stitch of the Week banner at the top of the page and you can download that pattern immediately for free and you can follow along with the video. It's a great way of learning how to read patterns as you're watching the video. So get creative with crochet and until next time, happy crocheting everyone!